These beautiful little mushrooms right here are both Psilocybe semlinciata, or the Liberty Cat mushroom. Now, unlike what I usually do, I'm not going to pick these mushrooms to give you an insight into uh, their anatomy, because if I do, I will be incriminating myself. And that's because these mushrooms are illegal to pick and possess in this country because they contain a compound called psilocybin. Psilocybin is converted into psilocin in the gut, which crosses the blood-brain barrier, where it mimics a certain kind of serotonin called serotonin 2A, now, these serotonin two-way receptors are very present in the visual cortex in your brain, which is why this mushroom causes so many hallucinations when it's consumed. What psilocybin also does, or what psilocin also does, is it increases lateral connectivity across your brain. So parts of your brain that weren't normally heavily connected become connected, which makes the user think about themselves in new and different ways, which is why this mushroom is really, really exciting because there's a lot of good science being done on this mushroom at the moment, which suggests that it's very, very effective at treating depression, anxiety, and other mental health related issues. So because I'm wearing my public face, I'm not going to encourage you to go out and actively pick and consume this mushroom, of course, but it's definitely one to get excited about and it's definitely one to watch in the future. So there you go, there's the Liberty Cat mushroom.